Woo! Hi again, everybody! If I seem like I'm in a good mood, it's because I am. Why, you ask? Because it's my favorite time of the year! YouTube Rewind season! YouTube Rewind came out yesterday, and it was fucking horrid, and I could not be happier about that. Because nothing brings this community together like shitting on a bad YouTube Rewind every year. It is no secret that YouTube Rewind these last couple years is just a trash fire waiting to happen every year until December 6th rolls around and somebody finally lights that fucking match. And us, the viewers, throw Throw the corpses of the creators who didn't make it into the video into the flames, and we toast marshmallows over how great this dumpster fire of a time was. YouTube decided to take advantage of their new premiere feature with this year's Rewind, and very smartly, they made it so that only creators who were invited were able to type in the live chat, and it was great. We had all our favorite creators who were definitely in the video saying how excited they were for it to drop, and how they were all going to be playing Fortnite while watching it. Also, shout out to that one guy who said subscribe to PewDiePie in the chat. That was a risk in you are a hero for taking it, Luzu Games, whoever the fuck you are. I didn't know who you were before this comment was made, but now I will never forget you, my comrade. Air Scare PewDiePie Season 2, you cowards. And just one more side note about that premiere chat, whoever was behind the Lele Pons on Hannah Stocking accounts physically wasn't human. Those were either pre-typed for this shit, or they got an artificial intelligence algorithm running that entire operation, which actually lends more credence to the theory that Lele Pons is not actually real, and is just a CGI model, as was glaringly obvious in last year's YouTube Rewind. The mystery continues. Imagine being Dax the Rapper and shooting your shot at Lele Pons. That's an even bigger version move than the entirety of my YouTube channel. But the limited chat really boded well for how the Rewind was gonna go, and 15 minutes after it premiered, the thing already had 10,000 dislikes. I am scared to look how high that number is gonna be by the time this video goes up, but what happens will happen, friends. Also, by the way, I'm trying to hit 500,000 subscribers before the year ends, and if you somehow manage to find a way in your mind to enjoy this content so far on your new, why not click that subscribe button to help a desperate old man reach his, quite frankly, unrealistic goals. Now before I rail into YouTube for just being absolutely horrible at this whole recapping the year thing, I do want to say some stuff that I thought was decent in the YouTube Rewind first, and fair warning, a good chunk of the good stuff isn't really good thanks to YouTube. A lot of it's because of some of the people they chose to include being pretty epic about the whole thing. Gotta stop fucking saying epic. Mm. First of all, we had the closest thing to PewDiePie being in a YouTube Rewind in years, and this was thanks to one Jaden Animations, who thanks to them, we got one of the quintessential PewDiePie memes of this year included in the video. During her section, Jaden animated her spinning in a chair, but not just any chair, the PewDiePie chair! Only $3.99 and she did the thing! Can you do this? Yes! Yes we can, because you did it in the video! There is a god! God is real! Also, speaking of animation, YouTube seems like they took it a step further in recognizing them because they weren't just relegated to the end credits and all that this time, so that was pretty slick. Also, and bully me for this if you want, but I did like the opening battle bus scene with Ninja and the Thanos snap meme going into it. It was a nice little touch, I think, and I liked that Ninja did the thank the battle bus driver. I didn't see any Black Panther in the video though, so I am not happy about that. Lucas the spider was in it, and that's pretty freaking epic! Other than that, I didn't really have much of a problem with what topics they chose to include because there were some pretty big moments in there. Some of it was just how they included it or in what capacity they had it in the video. YouTube did have a hard job this year. Like, you may have seen tweets saying how 2018 has felt like the longest year in human existence, in part because of this ridiculously fast turnover rate for meme trends. So if YouTube wanted to include it all, they were going to have a hard time. So I will cut them some slack in that department, but not that much because it's not as fun if I do. So let us get started. It's time to rip YouTube Rewind a new one, I think. This first one is probably gonna make you guys think I've been lobotomized with a kitchen fork, but I am not happy to see that Jake and Logan Paul were not included in any capacity. Because as much as we might not want to pretend it, they were massive parts of this year on YouTube. I'm not saying YouTube should have included that time that Logan filmed the corpse. I'm talking more about the YouTube boxing meme, because that was arguably the biggest thing to happen to YouTube this year. But hey, they were sure to include other Vine stars. My favorite ones, in fact, like Lele Pons and Anwar Jabawi. And good news, Lele looks slow slightly less like CGI this time around. Let's give the people what they want. Oh my god, they put the I love it outfit in the video. That's crazy. I can't believe they managed to do that without even including the song in the video. Can't be having anyone saying you're such a fucking hoe in my Christian YouTube Rewind server. There was also one really good meme that I do approve of them including this video. That being the bongo cat. But that was pretty much the only standout meme I found them including in the video. And believe me, I have leached off of enough meme topics to know when they're missing. Where was Howard the Alien? Where was Sans Undertale? Where was Ligma? 
Where was the Super Smash Bros mishmash? Where was Johnny Johnny Yes Pop Pop? Where was the moth memes? Where were the presidential alert memes? For the love of all that is holy on this earth, where was Ugandan Knuckles? We demand answers, YouTube! Also, I think I may have figured out the pattern, because it's the exact same fucking pattern as all of the other YouTube rewinds prior as to why they didn't include some of the major stuff that happened over the course of any given year. They'll include the outfits from I Love It, but they won't include the song itself because it's too edgy. They'll include Dame to Cosita, but they won't include Howard the Alien because it's too ironic. Also, it wasn't that big and there might have been licensing issues with Lil Uzi Vert, but that's besides the point. Most of the massive memes that came about this year were too risky for you YouTube to touch. Like I've said, and many have noticed, we've gone down a cesspool of quicksand-like irony that the more we try to claw ourselves out of it, the deeper we end up digging ourselves into the hole. There is no escape from the pit, the pit only draws us further in. Also, there was no TikTok. TikTok dominated this year, like not just on YouTube, but everywhere. Like you physically couldn't escape it. It's basically the foundation that this quicksand death trap was founded on. I want to be Tracer, hit or miss. It's done the same thing this year that Vine has done in the past and made songs massive hits through their attachment to a particular trend or meme on the app. It's magic. Dark magic that no man should have access to, but they do anyway, so we're kind of fucked. Also, that would explain why they didn't include the boxing shit. I doubt they would want to include people literally punching each other in the face for entertainment in the video, but still. The theme of this YouTube rewind, though, was that everyone was in control of it. Meeting you and me, all the creators and shit, and they had this fuck-ass section where they said they were doing what the comments asked, but if I had to guess, most of the comments said PewDiePie in them, and they ignored those. That is bad vibes, bro. Not cool. I'm actually glad they got Emma Chamberlain, James Charles, and the Dolan twins group. I personally think they're a lot of fun. What I'm not happy about is the lack of a bunch of fucking songs that were big this year. Like, where was the absolute banger of a track 100 miles by Skinbo? I'm telling you guys, he's up next, and y'all are sleeping on him worse than you did on yourself in the womb. Oh, wait a second. I said earlier that I didn't really have an issue with what it was they tried to include, more just how they chose to include the things they did and what it was they didn't include, but I just remembered one scene. One scene I saw during the premiere that made me want to punch a tree and hopefully break my hand so I could Focus on the sensation of that intense pain instead of the audio and visuals that were coming from the YouTube Rewind. It was this scene here. I fucking hate ASMR. There are very few genres of YouTube that I actually despise consuming, but ASMR is one of them. It just makes my hoodie fabric crawl and fuck, I hate listening to it. And they gave it 10 whole seconds in this video, but they didn't put Leafy in YouTube Rewind this year. I see how it fucking is, YouTube. I've never thought that YouTube Rewind only has to focus on YouTube-related things. I've always thought of it as a rewind of events that happened throughout the entire year from a bunch of different places, not just YouTube. But there was a very distinct lack of pretty much any massive YouTube-related events entirely this year. More than you would have seen in past years. It's kind of gay if you ask me. Like I mentioned earlier, one of the biggest things to happen all year related to YouTube that made mainstream headlines everywhere as an entertainment event was the boxing shit. Like, not even any of the people who were involved in those events got featured in YouTube Rewind this year. At least from what I know. So that's a little bit not radical if you ask me, bro. Also, if they were afraid of it being edgy, why did they include Fortnite in the video? A video game where you shoot people and then they die because you shot them! Double standards YouTube, you better fess up quick. There was no Shane Dawson docuseries, whatever the fuck, even though that was like the only thing anybody talked about when they came out. Though I think I can give YouTube a pass on this one because I'm pretty sure Shane Dawson didn't really want to do YouTube Rewind voluntarily. But perhaps the biggest crime YouTube has committed over the release of this Rewind was the fact that they had no inclusion of PewDiePie's ongoing battle with T-Series. The YouTube establishment truly wants T-Series to overtake PewDiePie, but since we are holding them back, they don't want to promote that. We see right through you though, YouTube, just like we see through a really foggy window. Only kind of. But I think that's pretty much all I have to say on YouTube Rewind, or at least all the jokes I can think of to make about it in the span of 10 minutes when writing this video. But I'm not sure that the video itself has reached 10 minutes yet, so we'll see in post. But it's time to steal content from others to fill in the rest of the space. And to start this off, I would like to give a massive shout to my friend Axel. I got many tweets from you guys who felt that I was unjustly snubbed from appearing on YouTube Rewind, which I personally do have to agree with. But spearheading this outrage was my favorite Webkins gaming channel, Actually, who actually hit 100,000 subscribers the other day. So big congrats on that, man. But Axel took this rage straight to Susan's door on live stream. He demanded answers for why I wasn't included in this year's Rewind after she promised him that she would do so. Susan, where the fuck 
was quite. Bless your heart, Axel. I don't know where I would be without you. But back to you guys giving me content for this video. I put out a tweet asking, what do you guys think were the biggest things missing in Rewind this year? And I asked nicely this time, so you guys can't say I was trying to coerce free content out of you this time, okay? Okay. Tang said Reddit videos, and personally, I couldn't agree more. Where was Slazo? Where was Sorrow TV? Where was Shoot House? Where was Wild Spartans? Where are my parents? The answer is nowhere, because I don't have any. Now get it through your thick skulls that hoodies don't have parents, you dumbass bitch. But by that same token, I also want to know where Dr. Phil videos were in YouTube Rewind. We will be awaiting your answer, YouTube. But anyways, moving on. My main man Monto, the Leftovers podcast OG, said literally everything was missing. And to put this in context, for those of you who haven't watched the actual YouTube Rewind, everything I put clips of in this video was just clever editing on my part. The real YouTube Rewind was just an 8 minute long black black screen with no audio. YouTube was so scared to put anything that trended this year for fear of backlash, so Monto is right on this one. Scrubby said I was missing from YouTube Rewind, bless your heart Scrubby. Teddy says someone he even remotely cared about, which I respect, I respect. And lastly, I commonly saw people disappointed with the lack of year review from PewDiePie. But this was expected to be sadly, and also I just saw a lot of people saying just PewDiePie anything. Oh yeah, and also the boxing. But anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like, and if you're new, subscribe. Like I said earlier, I'm really trying to hit 500,000 subs before the year is out, so I would really appreciate it if you're new and you enjoy the video, and if you click that red button. If you want to support the channel a little more directly, you can do so by clicking the join button next to the subscribe button, and donating $5 a month to get things like custom badges and custom emotes. It's totally optional, but it helps out the channel, and it is much appreciated. I have a podcast with Wild Spartans and FPS Diesel called Loudmouse. We upload two new episodes every week on Tuesdays and Saturdays, and we're up on iTunes, SoundCloud, and YouTube. If you want to check out any of my merch, you can go to quiteshop.com. We now have long sleeve t-shirts, and some of the items now have green as a shirt color option, so if you guys want to go check that out, go, go click it. You can follow me on Twitter at quite and on Instagram at quite.png. Links to both of those in the description below. And lastly, I also have a Discord server. Link to that in the description as well if you're interested. Anyways, this has been Quite, and I will see you guys next time.